Alright then, back with a, another little uh, Minecraft update. Uh, this first portion here is just to kind of show off the squid trap that I set up and show that it actually works. And in fact, the squid trap works pretty damn well. It's the squids themselves that don't seem to work all that well. Um, and this is just from what I've seen. But it seems like they only spawn in like the very lowest portion of the water that they're in and they only kind of move along the ground. They don't actually swim through the water at all. So what happens is they kind of spawn in a low spot or or quote swim to a low spot and then just kind of get stuck there because they don't seem to actually move through the water. They only just kind of move along the ground. And uh, well, my computer kind of moves along the as far as speed goes at a slow crawl. So, we will move on to the actual proper update that I was going to, you know, that I actually recorded today. And that's this portion, which kind of starts me off at that uh, kind of little outpost that I've got going on. And I've got some wolves in my house. Uh, I've, I've kind of found that wolves are not as useful as I kind of hoped they would be, in that they well, they have the terrible pathfinding that all creatures do. They just kind of jump around and do stupid things, and they tend to kill themselves more often than not. So I kind of use them mostly for like a area defense. By uh, if it's nighttime, and I want to actually do anything at night, or just in case I have problems with enemies still spawning around my bed area, uh, I'll kind of put them there and. Uh, you know, make sure they can move before I go to bed, that way they, it, just in case something does spawn and attack me, they will be able to attack back. Uh, the, of course, the, the, poor, the portion of the video I actually wanted to show off was this here track, which does incorporate the new powered and uh, the pressure plate powering sections of track, and the powered portions of the track actually kind of fix one of the major problems I had with the rail system and the reason why I never really used it is because uh, you kind of always had to build your rail cart tracks specifically for the fact that you know your momentum is going to only pull you downhill and it does not you know let you go back up hills very easily so uh, I kind of had avoided them up until now but with the powered rail system, well, I actually might be able to make some more a massive, actually massive, long sorts of connections between uh, bases with them. Now this area here, you'll notice I actually been f almost f finished with this upper portion of this base. Uh, I might add some decoration afterwards, but it, right now, uh, I need five areas, uh, five brick blocks, and I'll have the upper portion completed. All that's left is, well, sleep. <laughs> All that's left is the bottom area, which is mostly some deck work, and uh, I kind of want to, you know, put an area for fishing, perhaps, if I can get the mm, fish to actually land on the, you know, deck part, instead of, you know, hitting the bottom of the deck and falling back into the water. Uh, this you know, upper portion still not quite entirely finished. I wanted to, uh, you know, get the appearance of a big floating tree from a distance. Um, right now, it's not quite that. I mean, I can kind of cheese it and by putting just the logs in around on the other two ports where the tree won't sprout up. But that's you know just sort of for decoration. I will probably put something up here just to kind of give a reason to come this way now because it originally my kind of my plan was to make this the primary access to the floating island but once they put the you know powered rails in there I was like well I can't not have powered rail going uh, you know rail system between the two portions now it would be kind of silly to not you know, show that off and use them and put them to use because uh, that's going to be kind of one of the major points now is that I can kind of transport myself between 
bases without having to deal with the constant sinking, you know, sh sinking boats and I mean, it is a, my main air boat or my blah, blah blah blah. My main base area is actually surrounded by water pretty well. Oh, yeah, that bug. Um, so the train tracks themselves aren't entirely ironed out, and you'll notice every once in a while there's still kind of a bug that even though you kind of passed across the uh, the pressure plate properly, it doesn't quite register for long enough. Uh, sometimes it works perfectly fine, and I you know I can go back and forth across this you know ten times or so, and every time it kind of seems different. Like, in, for some reason, maybe, you know, one will work and one doesn't. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes animals will spawn in the pathway and screw everything up. Um, so, it, I don't know if it's just some kind of issue with the pressure plates themselves or how long they stay up. I don't, I really don't know. But all I know is that most of the time it gets me back and forth without too much problem. Uh, the only big issue I still have is that, of course, um, I can't put items in the cart, or I can't put, you know, the boxes in the carts and still, you know, send them across that path, because, uh, mine carts with, without you, the person in them, do not hold, uh, momentum quite as well. Um, so I'm gonna kinda cut this short here, and, well, <laughs> that was it. So, until next time, folks, have a good one.